Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the final version of iOS 5 using Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 4. Now, this jailbreak is tethered as previous versions, but at least you can jailbreak. So, let's just launch Red Snow. Open it up. And so, first of all, we'll have to go to Extras, select Type SW file. And we're going to have to select the iOS 5. You can use the Gold Master since it's just the same. And once you've done that, hit Jailbreak. And it's going to prepare the jailbreak data. So we just let it do that. Now it should be almost done right there. And from here we're gonna select install Cydia, enable battery percentage, hit next, and we're gonna put our ID device into DFU mode. So hold home and power for ten seconds. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button, keep holding home until Red Snow goes to the next step. right there now you can let go of the home button and so just let it do its stuff so now your right away should have a downloading jailbreak data like kind of thing so just let it load that's m that means that all the process is going good So now Resna will do some stuff, and so I'll be right back uh, once it's done. So once your device has gone through the whole process and it's now back on, um, if you slide over, you should see Cydia, but it should be a white icon. So if you and if you tap it, it should just um, take you right back. So that that's because we have to do a tether jailbreak, and so I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So to be tethered, you'll have to open up Resna again. And you'll have to go to extra, select type SW, and again select the 5.0. Okay, and now we're gonna hit just boot, and we're gonna put our right device into DFU mode again. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button. Alright, so now Resno should boot up our i device in a DFU mode, sorry, in a tethered uh, mode. So this is how your i device should look when it's booting tethered. As you can see, it's kind of like a pineapple thing. And so if you don't do this step, your i device eventually won't boot up. It'll just be stuck in the Apple logo, so you have to do this every time you run out of battery or you just turn your i device off. For some reason, you have to connect it and do the step that I just showed you. So now, if you just um, slide to lock and you slide over, you should see Cydia with the colorful icon if you launch it. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So, the user, click done. And it should do the normal stuff that it's, it does when you first launch it. So yeah, and as you can see right here, I am in version 5.0 right there, it says that, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video, hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe up there. And I guess that's it guys, I'll catch you in the next video.